Hey folks, Classic here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure Critical Roles with Beyond 20, a powerful browser extension that allows you to use D&D Beyond with Roll20. This video assumes that you already have Beyond 20 installed. You can find videos on how to do so in the description. Say our DM uses homebrew perfect crit hit rule. Beyond 20 is default set to the standard player handbook rule. To switch this, click on the Beyond 20 button near the top of our character sheet in D&D Beyond. Next, we need to click on the More Options and then find Critical Hit Rule. And then we need to select Homebrew Perfect Roll. You can also set this to Homebrew Reroll All Damage. Another crit option you may want to change is Auto Crit Rolls. If I recall correctly, this is turned on by default. I suggest having it on if not. Another option is to allow Forced Crit Attacks. This is useful for melee attacks against paralyzed enemies or using adamant weapons against objects. As toggling the setting can become tedious and a bit time consuming, it is a good idea to set up a hotkey so you can just press that button and roll to force the crit. This will save some time and streamline your gameplay. You can find a link on a video on how to set up hotkeys in Beyond 20 in the description. Now that you have configured critical roles in Beyond 20, it's time to test your configuration. Make sure you roll some attacks and see if the crits work as you expect. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you found this video helpful, hitting the like button lets others know. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.